Good day guys, today we are here at Mix Store Car Accessory Shop. This is located in uh, Scout Fontebella Street, Quezon City, Metro Manila, Philippines. Mix Store specializes in Mazda car accessories, so this is the store where you can get all those blinks. Come on, let's get inside. This is the entrance of Mix Store. It's just a small shop, so you can uh, go inside and uh, see the displays of the accessories. So, here are the items on uh, displays uh, for our Master Cars. So, you can uh, see them uh, hanging on the wall. So, from keychains up to those uh, various uh, carbon fibers. So it's quite interesting to see them, no? So, pagka meron kayong uh, Mazda cars, you can come here and uh, buy those items that you like. These are the additional items on the other wall. You have the steering wheel, paddle shifters, all the other small items for Mazda cars. Yeah, no. Pili na kayo. And then on this side, uh, they have this uh, Mazda grill. You have a uh, ducktail, uh, spoilers. They even have the filters. And then uh, these are the different uh, step seals for different uh, Mazda models. Okay, let's get into details. Ito yung uh, armrest tray. Ito yung nasa gitna ng armrest. So, you can organize your things inside. What else do they have here? Meron silang uh, mudguard. Ito is a uh, mudguard for the front of your uh, Mazda 3. And then, uh, you have here the key case in uh, different colors. And this is the cover for the uh, side mirror. And ito naman yung uh, dust cam na... OEM. Then this is the carbon trim for the rear aircon. Then you have here the pedals cover and then the acrophobic uh, exhaust tip. Ito naman yung uh, paddle uh, shifter extension and then ito yung uh, grill ng Mazda CX-30. Then you have uh, wheel cap rings in different colors. Ito naman yung uh, mga commemorative emblem for 100 years of uh, Mazda. And these are the key shells uh, that match your car's color. And then you have a uh, rear view mirror, meron ding horn, and then meron din dito uh, ito yung sa stickers and then this one is the trim for the center dash then you have this uh, LED lights uh, bumper and uh, this is the thing that you put uh, sa my handle uh, para you can put some things no? let's go to the other display side nandyan yung uh, steering wheel and some mga emblems ng Mazda you have those uh, door trims, side mirrors, and then you have the stickers, and the uh, exhaust tip again, and this is the other side. Okay, pakita ko sa inyo kung what I bought. No? Ito yung unang-una yung uh, dash cam na OAM style. So, maganda ito kasi hindi kita yung uh, cable. So, ito yung papakabit natin ngayon. By the way, uh, free na yung installation when you buy from a uh, mix store. So, kaya okay yon. So, tingnan natin yung uh, specs nitong uh, dash cam. Bali, ganyan yung uh, itsura niya, OEM fit siya na front recording uh, camera. May single lens siya, may, meron siyang uh, 2GB na internal memory. 
1080p na rin yung uh, resolution. And then, uh, then you can download the videos using your uh, cell phone, either iOS or Android. Meron siyang app. And then, uh, may micro SD card na pwedeng hanggang 265 eh, gigabytes. And uh, the nice thing is, it can uh, operate uh, automatically on and off. So, once you start your car, it will automatically record. And then, once you shut down the engine, it will take you about uh, 30 seconds uh, before it shuts down. So, automatic na siya. Meron din siyang built-in uh, microphone with Wi-Fi connection. And the nice thing is, uh, it's very neat looking at very good yung design. Kaya, I like this one. So, ang uh, first step is you have to remove the original one. So, ito, ito yung the same uh, design nung sa camera, the housing, no? So, you have to remove this, that one, yung kalahate. And then, uh, kakabit natin yung uh, OEM uh, fit na dash cam. So, yung fit niya will be the same as what you remove. Kaya, it will look like uh, an original one. So, you should be careful in uh, installing this because it might uh, break now. So, it has to be installed by uh, an expert uh, installer so that it will function uh, smoothly. So, yeah, the guy is uh, fixing it. The nice thing here is uh, there's no splicing uh, sa wiring and then you can hide the wiring. So that it will look uh, neat. So those wires are uh, to be connected doon sa OBD port nitong uh, Mazda. So there's nothing to change in, in the wiring. You just have to plug it in. So uh, those wires should be hidden uh, inside that uh, Casing, so he has to look for the areas where he can hide it. So ito tine test fit niya yung uh, cover, no? Para may kabit yung wires, uh, he has to uh, pull down this portion so that the wires can uh, pass through inside. So kada nga niya uh, ibaba ito. Nakatakot nga, kaya dapat dahan-dahan din. Ayun o. Oh. Next, uh, he has to uh, position now the uh, camera, no? yung uh, camera angle. And then, uh, bago niya ibalik yung uh, cover. Now he's uh, putting the cover back. So once uh, settled na yan, we will now uh, connect it dito sa ilalim. This black is for the OBD and this blue is for the uh, dash cam. Siya so, yung magkukonek sa dash cam. Now, he will connect uh, the wires dito sa OBD port, which is located on the left side of the car, ano, underneath the uh, dashboard. So, once that is connected, next thing is uh, this uh, blue connection will now be connected here dito sa dashcam sa taas. This is how you connect it. Just push it, and then it's now... Uh, connected. Then you have to uh, pull the wire and then padaanin dun sa ceiling. You hide it in the ceiling and then you go down to the uh, eight pillar to hide the wire. So you have to remove yung trimmings para may hide mo yung uh, wire. So it will look clean after installation. There will be no hanging wires that you can see so it's hidden so it's like uh, the original one so very neat installation and then uh, when you fix na niya dun sa uh, ilalim so
so that uh, the wires won't uh, be shown dito sa ilalim and then uh, after that uh, put back the trims and then you also uh, put back the cover dun sa OBD port and that's it yeah, you finish installing so it looks original so tinest natin kung uh, nag work siya okay naman yan yung uh, lens niya and then at the side meron siyang uh, blue blinking which means that uh, the dust cam is, is recording so once you start the engine it will start uh, recording and when you shut off the engine you will see yung uh, red na light nya so the camera will be on for about I think 30 to 30 seconds to 1 minute once you shut off the engine magre record pa rin siya. and then it will uh, shut down uh, automatically afterwards Then this is the right side view. This is uh, where you insert the micro SD card uh, to record the video clips which you can uh, set to 1 minute, 2 minutes or other time. Ito naman yung resolution ng camera. Ito bandang hapon na mga, mga 4.30 to 5pm na to kaya medyo madilim na. Pero makita nyo uh, wide angle siya. So... Maganda rin naman yung, ano, yung resolution niya. Yan, yung mga sample video from the dashcam. Kita mo, ang lapad, no? wide angle. So, cover na cover mo yung uh, kalsada, pati yung kasalubong. So, sana tumagal ito. Tingnan natin ang kanyang performance eventually. So, next natin ipapakabit itong uh, yung parang plastic film dito sa instrument cluster kasi ito yung uh, part na easily scratch so when I wipe it with the rag lang na scratch na siya kaagad so it's very fragile no so how do you install that uh, plastic film so you have to clean this uh, instrument cluster first so that uh, yung dust will be removed and uh, to avoid yung mga bubbles it should be totally clean so after cleaning uh, we will now install the plastic film so you spray it with uh, some shampoo and then water just like ano parang uh, nag install ng uh, tint din sa glass same uh, procedure then uh, you put it there and then uh, wipe it to remove the water and the uh, shampoo so once it is installed then you clean it up and that's it you already installed the protection so that will protect it from uh, scratching when you're cleaning it next I uh, bought the cover of the uh, key fob so we have to remove the original uh, black uh, cover and uh, the one that will be installed yung uh, snowflake white which is the same color of my uh, master 3 unit you can actually have uh, different colors that will uh, match the color of your unit so you have to twist uh, to get uh, the cover off no and then inside it uh, nandun yung uh, manual key which you will use in case of uh, emergency if you accidentally lock the car no So inside the key pub, nandun din yung uh, battery. So that's uh, the way to remove the battery then. Okay, now we now put the cover. So it becomes uh, white. no. So that looks very nice. The color of the key fob now is a uh, snowflake uh, white pearl, which is the same color as the uh, body of the uh, Mazda. So it matches the body. So, ang last na binili ko, yung uh, touch-up paint, meron din sila, no? So, ito yung uh, snowflake uh, white na pearl. 
So that matches the color of the body. So ready na ako in case magkaroon ng mga small scratches. All right. Kung interested kayo, just message Miko, the owner of the shop. Meron din siyang uh, online store, so you can order online and uh, I think uh, nagdi-deliver din sila. Okay, hanggang dito na lang. So, if you like this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, see you again my next vlog. Bye!